Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to look at Exodus chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. This is the story where uh, Pharaoh's daughter finds the basket, and there's a little baby in the basket. And all the Hebrew male babies were to be slaughtered. They were to be drowned in the Nile. She's right there by the Nile. She's right there in the, with, where the water is. And this could be this could be the end right here. The end, book of Exodus, maybe it's a short, maybe this would be a short series of devotionals because we'll just have to stop here. But, uh, but let's see what happens. Verse 5 and 6. The daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the Nile with her maidens walking alongside the Nile. And she saw the basket among the reeds and sent her maid, and she brought it to her. When she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the boy was crying. And she had pity on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. So here's Pharaoh's daughter. She's going just like she usually does, the same time, same place each day. She goes down, I think, to the river to, to bathe near or at the river. And there, it's strategically positioned at just the right time. There is the ark, the little wicker basket. And there's some muffled sound coming from it. Perhaps she hears that, maybe not. But she sees that, and that's an unusual thing. You don't usually often just see a random basket floating in the river. She instructs her maids. They go to retrieve the basket. One of them brings it back. And uh, she brings it to Pharaoh's daughter. And perhaps then she could hear uh, something inside, and oh, she was fascinated. She opens the basket, and there inside is a crying little, tiny little three-month-old baby boy. And was it the clothing he was swaddled in? Was it the nature of the thing? Uh, somehow she, and she knew, and she says, oh, this is one of the Hebrews' children. And in that very moment, she knew, right? She knew the decree that the Pharaoh, all Hebrew male babies, throw them in the water, drown them in the Nile. She's there at the edge of the Nile. Uh, here is the situation. It's kind of, we're kind of at this moment of decision. But here's this little baby. But we do learn something there that's quite interesting. Did you notice what it said there at verse 6? The boy was crying and she had pity on him. Now, that's something we don't ever hear from Pharaoh. We don't hear about Pharaoh having pity on anybody. We have Pharaoh, you know, bearing down on people, you know, put them under the thumb, make them work harder, make, make things with, uh, make bricks with no straw. That's still coming. Uh, but we don't ever hear, oh, and one day Pharaoh had pity on somebody. But here, Pharaoh's daughter, one of his daughters perhaps, and she sees this baby, this little baby, and she has some humanity still in there, and she, she has feelings of concern and protection and pity toward this little child. And that's where we're going to leave it today. But here it is. Uh, Jochebed has planned this out, I presume. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's what happened. That's my guess. And now the moment has come, and now the river's there. Everything is the baby's there. What happens next? And so that will take us to tomorrow morning. The interesting piece here for me is how Pharaoh's daughter has compassion and pity. And Pharaoh, Pharaoh's just a hard person. Pharaoh's dehumanizing the Hebrews. Pharaoh's daughter has an opportunity here to treat this child like, and even take her to be her own child. This is not the same approach to Hebrew babies. So let's see what happens tomorrow morning and what happens next. See you then. Hey, let me remind you that on Monday mornings at 11 o'clock, we're going to have a little bit of time together. I'll do a YouTube Live, and I well, invite you to type in any questions, or, or perhaps better than questions, any reactions you have to the story, the devotionals we've done that week, not just to what I've had to say, but to the Scripture, to the passage itself. And we can do a little Bible study together there and kind of learn together and have a little community. Uh, so I invite you to come and be a part of our little, our little Monday morning business there together. So that's Eastern Time, America-Detroit Time. That'll be 11 a.m., so try to join us on Monday. 